Good to go. Yeah. Gary, I appreciate you taking your time to sit down with me today and talk about the peripheral. Of course. Um, just curious, did you have any interest or knowledge of the source material before you got cast on the role and how much did you consume before filming actually started? Um, I, I didn't know of the novel um, before I met with Jonah and, and, and Athena and Lisa. Um, they told me not to read the novel, actually. <laughs> but the minute I jumped off the meeting with them, I uh, I bought it and I fell in love with it. I... I actually, I, I'm, I was beating myself up. So I, I was really, I don't know why I didn't know William Gibson before. And I, I think he's such a brilliant writer. And I love the genre of science fiction, especially uh, in literary form. So, um, yeah. And so I read the novel and then fell in love with it. And then I was really excited to see what they would do for, in terms of the adaptation for the series. And um, and yeah, I mean, that, that was the extent of what, what I did in terms of studying and everything like that. <laughs> Can you talk about what the casting process was like to play Wilf? Like, did they call you? Did you have to read for it? Did they kind of know they wanted you at that point? Or yeah, um, I, so luckily I didn't have to, I didn't have to cast for it. Um, my agent <laughs> reached out and said that Jonah and, and and Lisa and Athena have a project that they'd like to pitch to you, and they'd like you to consider a role in it. And um, I had already said yes in in my head, and then I met with them and um thought they were just like the biggest sweethearts and but also I, I was a big fan of their work um especially Jonah like not just his work within television and with things like Westworld but also with all of his feature film projects as well um so yeah it was a def it was a, like a hard yes for me and then um and that was it and then I got sent the script pretty much a week after that meet that discussion and um and then you know following the scripts after that and super excited you know, in watching you over the years, I found most of the roles you've played are like pretty much grounded in some kind of reality. There's stuff that gets a little crazy out there, but how much fun is it to do something in like the sci-fi fantasy realm at this point? Yeah, super fun. And especially <laughs> for that reason, because I always actually, unless I'm playing something that's really outlandish and alien, um, I always want everything to be believable um, and grounded in some kind of truth. And, um, but the fact that we get to do that within this this genre, I think is super cool. And um yeah, I love it. I mean, because there's so many, the concepts that are being presented are so high level and high concept and crazy, but <laughs> kind of believable as well, uh, which I love. And um, yeah, it's, it's been really, it's been great fun. It's fun for many, many reasons. Um, I just think it's a really awesome project to be a part of. And I think every single department head is brilliant at what they do. Um, I think the execu execution has been super high. Uh, the quality is high, attention to detail, like, like on point. So um, it's been a really great fun being part of this. I'm really grateful for this project. <clears throat> you, you've been in some of those scenes with with Ash and Aussie and when they're speaking in their coded language. Is, are they speaking like an actual language that they understand or the, I don't understand how, like just talk about how that works like when you're in the scene with them. Do you have any idea what they're saying? Yeah, I, so I have no idea. What the, I only know what they're saying because of um, I read it in the script, but I was, I used to ask them every time like, wait, wait how did you learn this? And, blah, and basically <laughs> they, um, they learned, they, they like came up with some, I guess some kind of like rules for how the language, how that like they would translate like the English language into this encrypted encrypted language, and then they learned it, and um, that's why when I think it's so awesome to learn something like that, which literally makes no sense. Like, There's no language on earth that is like that, and but then they're they're doing it. And it's so believable, and, and like the pitch of it and the tone, and they're actually saying, and I'm like, it's it's so like grounded and rooted, and I think they did such a great job. Um, but yeah, I mean that that's they they learned it like like <laughs> so detailed as well, and like I'm really impressed with them. I always told them I text them I'm like this is so, this is crazy, this is crazy, like I don't know how you guys did this <laughs> when I first saw it, I had to rewind the first time I was like, what did they just say? Did I miss that? Was it like Gaelic or Welsh, and I didn't understand it, but I was like, no, there's subtitles all right, I'm not supposed to get it yeah yeah yeah, yeah no, it's it's definitely encrypted they but you know I think the the way to make that successful is to like be really detailed and which is what they did. And um, I'm really impressed with their performances. I think they're, I, I love those characters. Oh, I haven't seen the finale yet. I've seen the first seven episodes. So I guess I'm going to be watching with everybody tonight when it comes out. But are we going to get to learn like more about the relationship between Wilf and Alita and like kind of the methods to their madness? It seems like somebody's up to something, but you know, through seven episodes, we haven't gotten the full picture as of yet. Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm yet to see the, 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 the last episode myself, but I think that um 
yeah, the, I guess you get some answers to some some questions that I think people have been asking for a long time. But I think you're also gonna have even more questions because <laughs> I think the whole point is um is that you know this first series creates like all these different worlds and builds things up, and then I think you know we leave it in a way that we could just start to discover even more worlds and other concepts uh, for another series maybe. So, um, but in terms of Alita and Wilf, yeah, I think you do get some answers actually. Um, yeah, yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in working with Chloe, you know, she's been around for so long, but she's only 25 years old. So it feels like she's been doing this for forever at this point. Like she's like a veteran. You guys, you know, what's it like to work with her? Do you have any funny stories of just, you and her on set um it's, it's it's been amazing working with chloe because she's such a sweetheart and um she's so down to earth and so so chill and um and we vibe on a lot of things we're both foodies we, we love food <laughs> we love talking about food all day every day we love music we love films we're both like she said like yeah we're both actors but she's a massive fan of film as well as am i and um so we we geek out she's a geek as well we geek out on a lot of stuff um and uh yeah it just made the playing of the character so easy because we just got along so well and um and she's a sweetheart she's like such an awesome person really it's been really great working with her gotcha no like you know i know this show kind of flashes back to north carolina and like london in the future when you guys are doing the london scenes are you guys actually shooting on location or is that mostly done green screen in the studio at that point no like 99 percent of the, everything is on location which i which again i'm a massive fan of like i it bugs me when i see films I, like i don't care how far like technology is calm and how like cool like cgi is like it's never the same as when like you do something that's real or in camera and i was really grateful when i turned up on set and we were actually like in the streets of london and shooting like all the interiors all the exteriors are real places and um hardly any i think i saw one like green screen that was just to, like for a sky Sure. But other than that, everything was 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 on location, and um, I think it just it just adds an authenticity which you just won't get otherwise. And um, I think it's super cool that we did it like that. Yeah, I took my first trip to London this past April when you guys were like shooting by the River Thames. I was like, it really looks like they're there, so I'm pretty sure they're doing this on location. Because <laughs> we took like a we took like a cruise of the Thames. I was like, this looks like all the stuff I saw. Then they're there, so I'm pretty sure this is all out there as it's happening. Oh yeah, yeah. You were probably one of the the boats that were like. Like honking, and like that Definitely. we had, <laughs> which is which is fine. I mean, yeah, that, that was cool though. I, I love that we, yeah, I was impressed at how we could just like shoot by the Thames or shoot in Trafalgar Square, like, shut down Trafalgar Square for a morning and things like that. I didn't think that was possible, but um, but yeah, yeah, we 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 did shoot like everywhere, and um, and I think that's really really great. And I was really impressed with how like it's set in future London, but you know they didn't have to dress anything up. Um, it just it just they were really detailed and clever about what they shot and, and how they presented it. And I think they did a really great job. Um, Last question would be, have they talked to you guys about a season two yet? Or is that still on an ongoing conversation? Yeah, I, I'm like, I'm so in the dark about, about all that stuff. I'm not, and I promise you, I'm not just saying that. Like, <laughs> I really don't. I, I would I love, I, you. of course, I would love for us to do another another season and, um, and continue. Because I think it's a really cool, cool project. But I, I haven't been told anything. Well, is... I guess we'll watch the finale tonight and we'll get to see what happens. And sure. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. And I can't wait to see the finale tonight, Gary. I appreciate it. Oh, awesome. Bless you, man. Thank you. Take care. All the best. Have a